protected by the Waterford Roaming Horses and Burrows Act. Back on the range, the battle between Mustangs and cattle continues, with no obvious way to rein in America's wild horses. Aaron McLaughlin, NBC News, Tonopah, Nevada. All right, y'all. This whole story had us like, ooh, ah, <laughs> oh, no, uh, like sad. all kinds I know of. There's a lot. But Jessica is a big fan <laughs> yes. of the. It's, movie Spirit? Yes, I grew up on that movie. I think it came out when I was two or three years old, and I was an animal lover growing up. If I wasn't doing meteorology, I would probably be some sort of vet. I wanted Aww. to be an animal rescue like activist when I was a kid. Yeah. So I love the movie Spirit. They're talking about how the horses built this country. If you haven't seen Spirit, check it out. Yes, it's a kid's <laughs> animated cartoon. I actually watched it pretty recently. Oh, I know she, she knows all, all the, the lyrics. songs. <laughs> she was I know earlier. all the songs. <laughs> it's amazing. But it, 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 it shows how, you know, these horses are getting captured and yeah. they are using them to build the railroads and expand and all that kind of stuff. And this honestly kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, lots of stuff there. Yeah, what was interesting here in this story was about the adoptions. You know, they're mm -hmm. capturing them, they're paying them to adopt them. Yeah. 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 But, and you know, the unfortunate circumstances that some of those end up in. I know. Um, but this is something that you don't really hear about often, like in our Never. area, you know, about adopting horses. I know last year, I believe, or maybe earlier this year, mm -hmm. there was a uh, horse adoption event. Wow. And we actually came to the morning show. This wow. is before I was on here. Yeah. Um, just because that was an opportunity. I think there was also donkeys at one point. <laughs> We have yeah. all kinds of animals. You brought in a, a crocodile. I mean, we have everything on the morning show. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but so I know, something yeah. to be aware about for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, it's almost 6 o'clock. Yeah. A few seconds here, 6 a.m. <laughs> we need to know what it's going to look like, and we're heading out the door. And 6 a.m., go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you can do it. She was waiting. <laughs> oh, if, you, if you're heading out the door going to work, maybe you work early, 7 a.m., maybe you're dropping off the kids at school. Temperatures out there in the mid-70s across the board. It's a little bit warmer out towards the island, but really we're all looking at similar conditions this morning. No rain on the board and we have very slight chances later. So most of us going to stay dry. Temperatures out on the island going to remain in the low 80s this morning. There's our temperatures. Edinburgh, there you go. I said we might dip down to around 70, 71. Edinburgh is at 71 now. Harlingen dipped to 73. We might see these drop a little bit more up until 630. But when that sun goes up, those temperatures are going to go up as well. But the feels like temperatures are going to be kept in check. We're looking at drier conditions without that humidity value tacked on to our actual